If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? The first thing I would do is go for the low-hanging fruit, which is to fill the jobs that we already have here in Florida. We have about 250,000 mid-wage to high-wage jobs that need Floridians in those jobs, and right now we're having a tough time finding them. That's the first thing. I would eliminate the talent gap and turn it into the talent pipeline. Uh, secondly, what I'd like to do is I'd like to put internships, apprenticeships, build the dual enrollment thing in our high schools. We have 1,000 high schools in Florida, and those need to be filled with internships and apprenticeships that attach to the job market. And right now, we don't have those. They're very limited in Florida. Uh, I, would, I think that saves a lot of money for businesses. I think that gives kids a great opportunity to find a job early on. Uh, I'd like to be able to bring our technical colleges into play. I'd like to see the recidivism rate uh, go down by um, one, to, one to one and a half years before a prison is released. They need to go to a technical college and get training that matches them up with the future instead of what we're doing now. We have a, a recidivism, recidivism rate that's very high. Um, Lastly, I think I would just try to be the state and the union that uh, is known for home growing their talent. Uh, we can do that and we need to do a better job of it. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? First thing I would do is I would, um, I would vote for the gap coverage. I would put 800,000 Floridians with health care that we don't have now. Uh, when we don't have that we, when we don't give them the health coverage, we all end up paying for it anyway. So the gap coverage would be one thing. The better jobs I would like to bring to Florida by eliminating the talent gap should come with good health care packages. Uh, when they come with good health care packages, then our people who can get into those jobs will have health care situations. I'd like to see more. I'd like to see more of the nonprofits get better funding, like the Grace Medical Center, uh, like the Good Shepherd, uh, Shepherd's Hope, rather, that's here in Orlando that helps people that don't have coverage. Um, that's people deserve to have health coverage, and we need to get experts at the table and, and figure out how best to, for that people can take care of themselves. Because if they take, can't take care of themselves, we've got people that can't go to work, kids that can't go to school, the economy crashes. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? The challenges are many. You've got teachers leaving through the exit doors by droves, and you've got to ask yourselves, why is that happening? One thing I'd like to say up front in this video is that I am not an anti-test guy, but we've got to stop misusing standardized tests. They were never designed to be used as single measures or for teacher performance like we're doing them. It, it goes against all the research that we know. If I gave a standardized test to everybody in this hotel, there would always be a lower 50 percent now and 50 years from now because that's what standardized tests do. They rank children. So we're using the wrong assessment instrument as a single measure. We need to open it up for multiple measures. <clears throat> I would let teachers do their jobs. I would let teachers teach. Uh, they're incredible. And right now we've got them handcuffed with performance, uh, performance systems that don't work, that have never, been, have never worked in the United States history. So I'm not quite sure why we've done this, but I'd like to show fellow legislators and the public how doing education badly is really creating not only a prison pipeline, but it's also creating a poor job economy that's loaded, loaded with working poor. Fifty percent of our Floridians are in the working poor situation due to this suffocating of our educational ranks. So that's what I would do to fix the education system. I'm an educator and I think I bring something to the table that not many legislators do. Yeah, my name is Judge Rick Roach. The judge is a name that comes down from my grandfather who was a judge. That's my real name. Uh, and I am running for Florida Senate in District 13 here in Orange County. Uh, you can get to know me better by going to rickroachforsenate.com. Uh, that'll be my website, which connect, can connect you to about anything you need to, uh, to get a hold of me. I'd love to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you, tell you about a better Florida, and um, hope that you'll consider me in the election.